Yeah. 2010. It's your boy Drastic. Linked up with B Plus. Hooking in lists part two. We done told y'all to run your A game. <laughs> yeah. You know, as soon as I hit the water, it's about to go down. Get to the spot where it's time to clean. So I drop that trolling and load it down. We still be hooking them lips. Sucking, hooking them lips. We still hooking them lips. Sucking, hooking them lips. You know, as soon as I hit the water, it's about to go down. Get to the spot where it's time to clean. So I drop that trolling and load it down. We still be hooking them lips. Sucking, hooking them lips. Hey everybody, welcome to North Roads Outdoors. My name is Tori Rhodes and you are watching Pro Talk. On this week's episode, we're gonna talk to some of the veterans of the sport who have seen it all, they've been around forever. We're gonna ask them how they think tournament fishing has changed over the years. One of the things I've definitely seen change is the, the, uh, the, the new coming anglers onto the Elite Series now are fishing at a much higher level than newcomers were back when I was starting. Um, and so, so there's not very many guys out here at this level that aren't capable of catching them and aren't capable of, of winning uh, one of these events. And so that's the biggest thing. And part of that's the education. I mean, you know, through Bassmaster Magazine and, and television and uh, the internet now and so many different things, it's easy to get educated on, on how to catch bass under all kinds of different conditions and different sort of lakes, rivers, tidal waters, natural lakes, man-made reservoirs, uh, deep, shallow, you name it. You can go read up on it and, and get a pretty darn good education. The technology has changed also. I mean, you know, we, when I first started, there wasn't any such thing as GPS. Uh, and there, there wasn't such thing as the Navionic top maps chip that would actually show you where you were. You didn't have digital side imaging and so many of the, uh, uh, of the technological things now. But beyond the technology, the one thing that has not changed is bass are still bass and they, their behavior really hasn't been altered so so the most important thing is is learning how to figure out the fish under lots of different conditions and adjust to it it's gotten a lot tougher <laughs> you know it's uh, it's like any sport uh, the older the sport gets the more educated you make the younger guys that are coming up and uh, it's pretty phenomenal how good they can catch them. oh the tournament fishing and you know this is my 19th year uh, you know fishermen are better Electronics are better, boats are better, engines are better, every, everything's better, everything's better. Uh, and, you know, that's just, you know, hopefully you'll be able to say that 20 years from now because, uh, you know, we, we've advanced the sport an awful, awful lot, and not just me by any means, but just maybe I've had a little teeny tiny part in it, but, but you know, this is just better fishing. I mean, they get educated, they get, you know, just from shows like, like this, I mean, they, they learn a lot of stuff. Well, to really answer that question, you know, I fish on the BASS Elite Circuit. These guys are truly the best of the best, and we're all on a very fast learning curve. There's no secrets, and what we kind of figure out, the rest of these guys find out real quick, so. But I really appreciate it because it constantly pushes me to be a better angler. You can never get satisfied. You got to push, 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 and always learn uh, new techniques. And you know, you got to get better uh, because what we're doing is we're educating the rookies that are out here on the circuit too. So they're getting better, and their learning curve is really getting a lot better. Oh, it's definitely it's changed in every aspect. Technology, the you know, these guys uh, get better every year. Um, it's amazing. You know, I've been doing it 22 years, and I still learn every single day and you still got to be working and fighting to try to get better all the time because everybody else is. How has fishing changed over the years since you started? Oh, it obviously got bigger. There's more people involved in the sport. Equipment's changed a bunch. So it's, uh, it's moved forward like everything else has in the country. Without a doubt, technology is the number one answer to that question. And just think about this, just one little topic, monofilament. I mean, think about how that has changed. Monofilament braid, fluorocarbon, you got specialty line for every situation, every technique. It's amazing how technology has changed over the years, not to mention power poles, uh, GPS, on and on and on. It's amazing how it's evolved just in the last 10 years, let alone since the 70s. Okay, next week, we're gonna get into a hot topic and man, I wish you could see some of the off-camera answers to these questions. We're going to talk about fishing etiquette. If you have any questions, make sure you post them down below. Any comments, check us out on Facebook. You're watching North Roads Outdoors. We will see you next Monday. What would you rather see, a 10-pounder on a bed in an Elite Series event 
or 180 inch whitetail broadside. Looking oh, that way. whitetail. Dude, give me 130 inch whitetail. It ain't even got, give me a doe. Give me a blowing doe. This doesn't smelt me at 55 yards and let me spine shoot her and watch her flop to death. I'll take that over a 10 pounder on bed. <laughs>